In this video, we're going to have a look at adding a file upload question into your Microsoft Forms survey. So this is really great when you want to capture documentation and maybe images, could be evidence or it could be part of some information that your team share with you that you want to use a form to capture some details of if your team are in the field doing work for clients, customers, tenants, anything like that. They might take images as evidence. They might need to fill in some information as well. You could use this to do that, which would be really useful. You can also just get any uploads from someone who's filling in your form, as well as asking other really nice bits of detail. So just like any other question type, I'm just going to click on add new and then I need to click on my drop down box and select file upload. So it will just give you a quick warning the first time you do it, say that a file will automatically be created in OneDrive and the information of the person who's uploaded it will be held there as well. So you know exactly where that file has come from. Got space to pop a question in here. I can see I've got a file number limit, so I might want to give them access to upload a number of files. If it's a number of pictures or pieces of evidence that you want them to share with you, I can change it. And I've also got a file size limit to play with as well. So once you pop your information in, telling them what, inform what file you want them to upload, then change the number limit and the file size limit to suit you. Just like any other sort of question type, I can copy, I can delete, and I can move this question up and down around my survey. I can also make this a mandatory question by leaving required toggled on. And clicking on my three dots, I've got subtitle, file type, and I can also add branching from this as well. So I might wanna add branching if they've uploaded some files, if it's not mandatory and then I want them to fill in some information maybe about those files. Just going to click on file type so you can see there you've got an option to limit what files get uploaded by the person filling in the form. So you're going to get the right format that's going to really work for you. It's nice to do that now then you have to then change it once it's been uploaded. So select the file type you're interested in and then when you send this off, they will just click on that button and upload that content for you. So you've got access in your OneDrive. Have a go, see how you get on.